so you are here to learn about the ExoFarm limited event in Estronir. That's good, because I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about the event. And let's be honest, you're probably here because you want to unlock these awesome Halloween rewards. I can't blame ya, they're really cool. Anyways, I know you're busy, so I'll skip the intro and get started right away. Step 1. Exo Request Platform. The first step is acquiring an EXO request platform. This allows you to take part in the EXO farm event and complete it. And as much as some people try, there is no other way to complete events in Estronir. You need an EXO request platform. So let's get crafting. Go to your medium printer and craft it using 2 resin and 1 ceramic. Good, now that we've got the essentials out of the way, we can take a look at the event. Step 2. Cauldron Gia Plant. Alright, so you've got your EXO request platform. Now you need to send in biofuels to get points and unlock the cool Halloween rewards. But how do you get biofuels? For that you'll need a Cauldron Gia plant. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. You'll be able to find these plants on Silva, Kelidor and Aatrox. But be careful. They are surrounded by vicious flora who'll do anything to protect their Cauldron Gia. Tread with caution. Depending on where you are in the game, you can go for more efficient Cauldron Gias of Aatrox or Kelidor. But if you're just starting off, stick with the ones on Silva. They're a bit slower, but they get the job done. Once you've got a plant to your base, you can move over to the next step. Step 3. Strategy. Now it's time to figure out your strategy. There are multiple ways you can go about completing this event. First, you should know that it's so much easier to do this on either Silva, Kelidor or Aatrox. So if you're not on one of these planets, now's a great time to set up a small base there. Alright, you're all set now, so here's how this works. You can get points by crafting 3 different recipes. Each one gives you a different number of points depending on how hard it is to get it. For example, Squasholine only gives you 15 points because it's the easiest one to get, whereas Noxotane gives you 50 points, but we'll talk about that in a second. Now's the time to pick your strategy, but how do you decide? Well, if you're a complete beginner stuck on Silva, then just focus on Squasholine. If you're comfortable going to Aatrox's surface and coming face to face with a couple elegant spew flowers, then that's your best bet, focus on Noxotane. Now what if you're in between? You're not a total beginner, but you don't want to venture too far on Aatrox. Then add a petrol is for you. This biofuel gives you 35 points. That's more than double the points of Scratcholine. Okay, do you know what biofuel you're gonna be focusing on? If you do, it's time to start crafting. Step 4. Farming. Let's say you decided to go with Ate Petrol, the more balanced biofuel. To craft that, you'll need a sturdy squash sample and a mutant spiny Atticus seed. Let's clarify this first. The sturdy squash are the pumpkins you see popping around. They won't be there forever, so you might want to keep some seeds to decorate your base later. Sturdy squash samples are the gross orange things that come out of replanted pumpkins. That's right, you'll have to plant and replant seeds over and over again in order to craft biofuels. One tip that works great for me is building a farm for each seed I need. This way you can get tons of seeds without a lot of work. So you've replanted your seeds and you've got a sturdy squash sample and a mutant spiny Atticus seed. Now it's time to throw them into the Cauldron Gia plant and watch your Atta Petrol get crafted. Great! Now all you need to do is repeat this procedure several hundred times. Awesome, right? Well, I've got a couple tips to make it easier for you. Step 5. Automation. The larger the scale, the easier to get the points. If you wanted to go faster, then build bigger farms. You can use proximity repeaters. Or if you don't want to do it manually at all, you can set up a whole automated contraption with sensors and auto arms. If you don't want to do all that, then just stick to the proximity repeater and get a ton of plants close to each other. This works because plants give you at least double the seeds every time. So if you plant an elegant spew flower, let's say, you'll get two seeds. Now you can use one to make Noxotane and replant the other seed. That way you'll have infinite seeds and you'll be able to complete this event in no time. Are you interested in automation? Do you want to see cool automated farms in Astroneer? Well, lucky for you, there's this whole playlist on screen right now and it's full of automation videos where I build automated farms for infinite items. I think this outro is long enough already, so I'll just cut to black here and let you decide whether you want to watch that playlist or this other video next. Cheers, Astroneers!